morning guys welcome to another vlog it is saturday today and i'm waiting for dean to get home so i can film a tiktok i joined tiktok yesterday i know it's so late to get on the platform but i'm gonna do well you guys it'll be up before this video goes up so go and check my tiktok out if you wanted to see i think what did it for me was instagram reels and then seeing like how people can create stuff and I'm like, I wanna have a go. So anyway, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Yeah, I'm just, I got already washed my hair. You know what's so funny is like, your hair looks so much better when it's washed. Well, mine does anyway, unless I really need to get it dyed. But I had it done the other week, so um, I'm pretty good for now. It actually looks really blonde today. Today, I don't have too much planned. I do wanna work on my blog and I think I figured out my first post back. I know it's like been weeks of me thinking of it, but I want to do a post on the nursery and how we decided things and, and where we got everything from and, and whatnot. So I think that that would be a really cute first post back. I totally forgot to vlog, <laughs> but we just cooked our lunch. This is cheesy bacon penne with greens. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Do you love, I love it. It's very tasty. Penny. She's like, where's mine? The day has turned into a beautiful sunny day. And so we're just gonna go on a walk, take Penny for a walk. We've got a lake in the town that we live in. So we're not gonna go do, go do the whole thing. That's a bit too much, um, but we'll go um, then to get a hot chocolate and um, walk Penny around a little bit. Are you ready to go, Penny? <laughs> she gets so excited. She's like, let's go. So we're just out walking. I have my mask and I'm just drinking my hot chocolate. Um, but we're in the botanical gardens. It's so, so pretty here. Got Dean and pens. And I just wanted to show you the roses because I showed you ours. Hey. <laughs> Benny. Benny. I showed you our roses last time, but these roses, can you can see one behind me. There's like nothing left. <laughs> Look, there's absolutely nothing left. I don't know how old these ones are. Yeah, I was thinking the same. They might be. Really? Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. There's not too many plants in, we noticed. So they must just like wait a little bit to put in the plants because they only just turned spring like last week. So um, it would be nice to come back again when spring is, you know, fully in swing and see all the pretty flowers and everything. We're just sitting here at the lake. There's some swans just there. So we'll, we'll go and take Penny up and she'll have a look at the swan soon. She's never come face to face with this one. <laughs> She's getting restless. Little girl, such a beautiful day. Is it gonna? She wants to go with it. <laughs> She's so eager. I don't think you should go near that one, hun. I don't think I even want to go near it. <laughs> oh, Penny. You survived. <laughs> So, uh, something, um, not so funny just happened. I'm not, no one's laughing. Dean, I asked Dean to take all these paints and everything out to the garage. And he decided that he wanted to try and pick everything, all these paints and all of this up at once. And then he dropped the, uh, tin of paint back there. And, uh, yeah. Did you, didn't you want this painted white? <laughs> oh, I know. I'll wash out that bucket. Look how bad his boots are. Just using the code with the grout brush, honestly, like the grout brush is life changing. It's so good. So hopefully that gets all the paint out. It's all water based, so is it all coming out? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, I just saw that bit come out. 
So seeing as we need to throw the rest of the paint out, I have a canvas that I tried to paint once and it looks terrible. So I'm just gonna paint over it with white paint. Do you guys remember this? Some of you may remember. It just, I don't know, it just did not turn out how I wanted it to. I think it was like a week ago, I did these paintings for our girls' nursery and they turned out, like guys, I cannot believe how good they turned out. Like it actually shocks me how good they turned out. You might not think so, but honestly, like I <laughs> love them. They're actually like quite big. So that's like my hand compared to one of them. But I love how you can like see things in them. Like I see a baby elephant here. That's the trunk, that's the ear, that's the elephant, and then there's a mama elephant behind it. Like, you just like make little shapes and things out of it. I love them. And I just did this with, it's an acrylic pouring technique, but I just did them with the sample paints that we got for the room and what, the white paint as well. You just pour it into a cup and I filmed it. Um, I don't know how good the footage is gonna turn out, but yeah, I filmed it, poured several cups and then just tipped them over on the canvases and then just like tilted the canvases. It did take a while to do. I think some people use a straw, but I just tilted them. And yeah, that's how they turned out. I was so impressed with it. And it was so easy to do rather than that painting that I have in there. Like that took a lot of time and it looks shit. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. Um, I don't know if you can see the texture in it. Yeah, you can. Which all adds to the next painting anyway. I think it will need another coat, especially in some areas. But then I'll have fun painting another canvas, which will be cool. This one's gonna take a lot of paint though. Definitely is something to remember. If you stuff up on a canvas, you can just paint over it and do another one. I know my friend Sheridan, she's done that a few times. And that way, cause canvases like, you know, you pay a bit of money for them. So it's good to get use out of them if you're not happy with how they turn out. I picked up some seedlings, some little petunias the other day and I need to plant them. I should have got another packet. I got some pink ones, but I want to get some white ones as well. We recently got these Oh, I forget what they're called actually. There's the name. Anyway, we recently got these ones, these pots, but I'm gonna put petunias in the bottom of them. And we used to have petunias over here, but they, um, they're dead, <laughs> they're gone. And we put these little, they're like little daisies, they're pink ones in this one and this one, although this pot needs to go. And this one has petunias in it. I'll put some petunias in that. And then I have this one here. Is that a rock in there? <laughs> that used to have petunias. They'll come back really, really soon. They're petunias. And I wanted to get a standard rose for that, but yeah, I need to get something for that pot anyway. Our rose is coming back. This one didn't do too much last year, so it'll be interesting to see how it does considering there's so many new sprouts on it. I've just done the second layer and that looks really, really good. I actually really like the texture in it. So that is done and the paint is actually empty. <laughs> Just waiting for the leftovers. Had a big day today. You look a bit tired. I'll just sit in case I get something. In case you feel like giving me anything, Mum. I'll be a good girl. Okay, so dinner is ready. We're having a creamy lentil dal. I'll show you what it turned out like. So this is a picture. This is what it looks like. We have these little um, tortillas all cut up. Uh, yeah, so. Looks a bit more orange in the photo, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Oh. We, like, I mean, it has tomato paste and tomatoes in it. So, yeah. 
hey guys it's a few days later and uh it's 10 30 in the morning and i need to continue on with this vlog um it's such a dreary drab day like it's raining outside it's so cloudy it's so dark which is not what we've been having lately we've actually been having some really good weather like some beautiful sunny days and everything so I just want spring to come like I can see a rose from outside this window and it's growing back and it's just making me like so happy that all the plants are just coming back does anyone else get really happy from that or is it just me but today I have to do some editing I kind of feel like filming a video but as I mentioned, the lighting isn't very good. If you can hear that, uh, we just got a, a robot vacuum. It's going. <laughs> I bought one a few years ago. It was off of Catch of the Day, and I think it was called like a My Genie or something like that. And honestly, the thing never worked. It literally, it. Uh, I think it like went off the dock for a little bit and then just did nothing. And then it just stopped and it just, we could not make it work. Dean gave it a, well, I wouldn't say he gave it 100% crack, but like he gave it a fair go. And so this time, um, Robo Rock got into contact with me and, and I'm so happy that it works. <laughs> so if I can just like set the vacuum to go every day, <gasps> it's great. Coco's definitely not a fan. So anyway, that's the noise that's going on. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do some editing and I just, I feel like filming, but I don't know what to film. So I think I might ask you guys on Instagram for like some questions and I might do a Q&A or something like that. Um, I just feel like in a chatty mood. Ah, uh, I forgot what, like, my memory is going so bad. Um, I forgot what I showed you guys from the nursery, but I'll do like a little quick nursery whip around as well today. But I might just put some makeup on and just like feel a little bit more ready for the day, if that makes sense. I need to do a skincare routine as well. Like, I mean, I've just got some scarring. I think something was, I've got a few things here, but like <gasps> my skin, it's still dry and flaky on the forehead, but wow, skin's changed from like this time a year ago, it has changed. <laughs> okay, so I just filmed my chatty get ready with me. This is how the makeup turned out. I feel like I look like a bit of a clown with this lipstick on because I don't usually wear like a matte liquid lipstick like this bold these days. <laughs> that was really fun. I miss like chatting with you guys. So I think I'll put it out next week or something. But this was my little setup. So I had my Canon G7X there. And then I just had a little mic here and I had the camera, oh, I had my mirror up here. That's what my mirror was, was here. So yeah, like I think that, that worked out okay. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, it is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build your website, whether it be a shop, an e-commerce site, or a blog, anything you can dream of, you can build it online with Squarespace. I've recently transferred my blog over to Squarespace and it's now live. You guys need to go check it out. It looks so awesome. I'm in the middle of writing my first like blog back, blog entry back, um, but I just love how it looks. It was so simple to use. They have an amazing range of templates, which you can choose for the front page, but they also have templates for every single page that you can add. There's a great mixture of different layouts with images and not with images and different fonts. Um, the colors and selection is super easy to use, but not to mention, I love their help guides. I was able to really easily set up the transfer of my website because it is a .com.au. So I was able to do that easily through Squarespace and with the help of their help guide. They have help guides for anything you can think of as well as a forum. So you can ask questions and get responses and they are very, very helpful as well. So I do have a coupon code for Squarespace if you wanted to try it out. They do have a free trial period, but my coupon will get you 10% off of your domain or website. Feel free to use that if you're wanting to try it out. I'll have everything listed down below, but I'm going to show you my blog really, really quickly. So here's my blog. I am just so thrilled with how it looks. This is my Instagram feed. So if you click on one of these, it will open up my Instagram and then it has all of my blog entries, which are nice and easy to get to. So all of these old entries I was able to import from my old blog, which they have imported perfectly. This is how they look. Um, 
I included a lot of photos in that one. But I've also got my other pages, so my Quartz Beauty page. And I've just got like a little write-up of the different products that I have and a shop now. And then you guys saw last time I made my About and my Contact page. But, but yeah, I love it. I'm actually so obsessed with how it looks. Uh, I just feel so accomplished the fact that I'm not embarrassed by my blog anymore. Like it looks just, even with my Instagram photos coming up straight away, uh, it was so easy to just link them as well. And they refresh obviously when I make a new upload, but I just love how it looks. It all is like matching and nice and pretty. So now it's time to put up some entries. So I started writing uh, my nursery theme the other night and or the other day and I got carried away guys. Like I forgot how much I really loved writing. When I was in high school, English was one of my favorite subjects. And I was just like typing away and I'm like, this is a really long blog entry, people aren't gonna to wanna to read it, but <laughs> um, I just had a lot of fun doing it and it's been really nice to be able to get back into it and have it look, have it reflect who I am as well. Oh yeah, that's right. I made a Boohoo order like weeks ago, like three or, or more weeks ago and I finally got it today. I'll just bring them in here and just show you what I got. I literally don't even remember what I got. It was so long ago, but I did get another package in my pouch. They were so kind and sent me some, some pouches. I mentioned them in a YouTube video, like a baby haul video. And um, I don't even know how they found me. They found me on Instagram. They're like, can we send you some stuff? And I'm like, oh yeah, that would be amazing. Like, I'm not gonna say no. A little bag. Well, it's a big bag actually. This is the first one. This is a 1.0 tog for zero to three months. Oh, it's so little. Oh. So you can see that the fabric has this small little pattern. From further away, it kind of looks like embroidery, but it's just a little pattern on it. Um, in this beautiful peach color, so nice. So these are swaddles for the baby. And then they have these little clips here that as they get older, you can take their arms out. So that's a zero to three months. Oh my God, it's so tiny. I can't wait to have her. Oh, it's a little onesie. Oh my gosh, the zip. I haven't seen one like this before. The zip goes all the way out the back. <laughs> so yeah, long sleeve layer. Uh, this is a triple zero, so zero to three months in the same fabric. Oh, they sent me a little tog guide, which is great. So for all of their products, um, what ones they recommend for what size and, and whatnot. So yeah, the first one was a cocoon swaddle bag. Oh, I think she sent me a robe. I didn't even know that they had robes. It's a robe for me. Now, this is meant to be a maternity one, I'm pretty sure, but it's the same patterned fabric as her little pouches that I got sent. Oh, oh my God. I don't know if you're watching this, Jess, but thank you so much. You have spoiled me. This is beautiful. This feels so amazing. So I'll have their website linked down below if you're wanting to check anything out. Since I mentioned them in a video, you guys on those videos, I think there's two videos I want to mention them in. You guys, have said that you love Ergo pouches. So I'm so happy, so grateful to receive these, but I'm glad that like I found a nice product that like is good quality and hopefully my baby likes them as well. Cause you don't know. <laughs> Boohoo order. What did I even order? Oh, this would be cute. Hopefully. They didn't have the exact t-shirt that I wanted, but I got this one that says mama. Cause I thought it was cute. I don't recall it being this color, maybe. It looks different online, but um, yeah, I got that in a size 16, so probably will be a bit snug for me, even around, like honestly, I've just like, my boobs and belly have just gotten so big. I made this order before, like I went shopping and got, I don't even remember this, but it has like this crossover detail and it's ripped. I didn't get as much as what I thought, but I think that some things got canceled. Another black ribbed dress. This one has like a little belt around it. That one's a 16, so I don't know. Like Boohoo sizes can be so different. I think that that might be a maternity one. Honestly, like I have size 16 to 20. That just is so, ranges so differently on me. 16, oh, this would be great. Look at this. 
Oh yeah, see like this one is like quite big I think for a size 16, but that will be great. It's a knitted dress though, but very comfy to wear near the end. Maternity tie front dress, so it's like a midi length with a tie front. My only worry is that there won't be enough room for my boobs there. Sometimes if this comes up too high, it can look a bit funny. This skirt is so long! Like, it's way, way too long. Oh no. You can't even see, but like it, it's, too, it's too long. <laughs> oh, I hope they can tie it up or something. Maternity scoop neck midi dress, black 16. I don't even know if any of these are gonna fit me. Uh, they're like pretty stretchy. So I don't know. We'll see anyway. I said this in my most recent maternity haul. I'll do a haul with heaps of Boohoo stuff because I made other orders as well. But sometimes with maternity stuff, like, well, you don't know what size. I, I have no idea what size I am. I think I'm like a 14 to 16, but like, for example, the jeans that I bought from Jeans West that were 14, they are too big. They're like, I need a 12 with them. And then in baggier stuff, like what I'm wearing now, like this is a size 16. So I think I'm like a 16 on top, but I've got stuff like size 20 as well. However, I will say that maternity items do fit better. Sometimes the bigger sizes can make me look quite frumpy and they just don't sit nicely, but it's okay to wear like at home or if you just want to put on a big jumper or whatever. But if you get what I mean, like the maternity stuff fits nicer. Oh yeah, I need to show you the nursery as well. I'll show you guys that too. Are you ready? <gasps> I'm so excited. <gasps> So last time, I think in the vlog, I just had the chair and the cot set up, but now, oh, with the wall painted, but we have the wall painted, we put the curtains up, we have this beautiful rug, which is, I'll go through where everything's from, and then we have my paintings over here, and this cube storage, and I put this plant here, like, it, oh my god, I just walk in here and I just die, like, it's just so beautiful. I do want to stress. I will have a full nursery makeover and like nursery tour and everything like that. It's not finished. There are things that we need to do still, but I'll just, I, I keep getting questions about where things are from. So I'll just quickly run through everything. Rug, ottoman, table are from Kmart. The cot is from Mocha. It's the aspiring cot in natural. Uh, this rug is from Kmart. We got this as a gift from Dean's uncle and auntie. The cushion is from Adair's. This uh, lamp here, this is from Bunnings. It actually lights up the room so much. Um, makes more of a difference, obviously, at night time. The chair is from eBay and I had a look the other day and they don't think that they have it anymore, but there's a similar one. Um, the rug, you can see I've sat in here. This one is from Spotlight a few years ago. Cushion is from Kmart. These flowers and the vase are from Ikea. This and this and this and this. And there's one over there. These, all these ones are from Bunnings. All of these things. I found them, I actually went in store and they were just like in the middle of an aisle. The cube storage is from Bunnings. It's the oak finish. And say so in the boxes, the pink boxes, they're from Bunnings as well. This was given to me in a benefit PR package and I just thought the color looked nice for her room. I got this um, at our first house. It's from Target years ago, but I used it for our engagement party as decoration and it just fits so nicely in here. <laughs> I've got this little canister from Kmart, we got the bear as a present. Uh, this pot is from Ikea and the plant is from Target. I made my canvases and this plant here is from Adairs and the basket is from Kmart. I also have these knobs which I'm gonna put on her drawers. The plan is on this wall is I'll get the Ikea drawers there with the change mat and I'll change all the knobs from black to gold. And I think that I'll need to either, I think I'll need to tip that up and hopefully that that will look okay over there. And then we also have stickers to pop on her wall. 
So that's what we plan to do. Oh, and they're the hooks that I got for her paintings, but I don't want to put them up until we have the drawers. Yeah, it's nearly done. Um, I do want to get a mobile as well. I don't think Dean's going to be happy about putting a mobile in the ceiling, so we'll see. I don't think it's that necessary. I don't know. And I've got some little shelves and other little bits and pieces to do as well. So yeah, and here I'll show you her stash. She's got so much stuff. This is her closet ridiculous ridiculous already <laughs> and then up here i've got some presents from you guys as well that i'm going to do in my little virtual shower type thing and i've got stuff up there to make a little play mat in this bath but i don't want to get it down because then i have to put it back up and i can't be bothered <laughs> so yeah there's all of her stuff i just love i just love her clothes and the oh, so lush So I just made up some fruit. Lately I've been craving fruit. So I bought heaps the other day and this looks like a lot. I probably won't even eat all of that. I'm fine that I'm eating small serves so I need to eat more frequently. But yeah, I made some, like just chopped up the rest of it for the next couple of days as well. So yum fruit. My mouth is watering. It's me again, <laughs> obviously. Oh, I feel so freaky right now. So on TikTok, there's this filter. You, I feel so freaky. <gasps> um, that you can use and it gives like a shadow of, of color when there's people there or something like that. And I, I don't know if you guys remember. Well, if you saw it, you may not have seen it. But when I was sitting in here the other week and I filmed uh, the baby haul that I filmed, I swear like in that corner, I'm getting like shivers thinking of it, there was a spirit like watching over her cot and it just like gave me all the chills and all the feels. And I just feel like someone's watching over her already. Anyway, I use this filter in here and it picks something up and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> So you'll have to go over to my TikTok and see it because I just uploaded it. How freaky! Oh my god, the sunset is so pretty. Oh, it never turns out as pretty on camera as you can see in real life, but I'll show you anyway. Yeah, like, oh my god, that's so beautiful. I don't even know if you can really see it. But it's stunning. That's just a reflection of the of the light in the room, so don't worry about that. Also, look what Penny did today. She's in trouble. Oh yeah, I can show you how much the lamp lights up the room. Oh, I'm very yellow. It adds a lot of light to the room. That's that's much better. Um, anyway, I'm going to end today's vlog here because over two days it did. I don't realize how much footage I get until I go to edit it and I'm like, wow, this is nearly half an hour long. <laughs> but don't forget to check out Squarespace if you are interested. I will have all of the information listed down below and feel free to use my coupon code for 10% off a website or domain. And that is it from me. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you next time. Bye.